Mary, Top Paralyzed Math Industry, and we are gonna take a look at organic bonds. So when we talk about organic bonds, there's one special thing that we can do. One, we do not need the periodic table because organic bonds are only gonna have bonds that have two different elements. And they are gonna be carbon and hydrogen. If you ever had a grill out, yes, it is summer vacation. So probably you had some kind of grill out with your family or friends at a party. Well, that so-called grill is used to make all your beef, your chicken, your pizza. But what's powering the grill is a propane tank. And the funny thing about propane is it's an organic bond. And propane has to do with carbon and hydrogen. The formula is going to be three carbons and eight hydrogens. But hang on, how do we know it's three carbons and eight hydrogens? Because in the last video, when we did covalent bonds, it's not like we say tetracarbon octahydrate. It's not that. There's an actual other way to be naming these kinds of bonds. And just like the prefixes in the covalent bond video, yes, these kind of prefixes, they're a little bit different, but they only are assigned to certain kinds of bonds. For example, if we say methane, that is going to be CH4. If we say ethane, the ethical thing to do would be C2H6. And here's the one that powers up our grill. Propane. Or prop. And that is going to be C3H8. Butane. But. And that is going to be C4H10. Pentane. And that's going to be C5, H12. The next thing we can do is go up to 10. Then we write hexane. That's going to be C6, H14. And the 7 is hexane. Wait, that was heptane. That's C7, H16. Octane. Like the Octane Tower from the Lego Movie, C8, H18. And then we are going to say, Nanane. And that's going to be C9, H20. And we have Decane. And that's C10, H22. But the question is, how do we know what is what? We can do that by practicing it. For example, if we say we are going to say C6H14, what is that? If you go on here, that's hexane. Hexagon is another way we can memorize it. Get it? Hexane, hexagon. So this is hexane. How about this one? What is it? Yes, it's octane. Because there is eight in carbon, like an octagon. But if you have, if you have one element that you understand, but you're missing the other one, Sometimes you'll have to do some kind of math to figure out when to use it or how to use it. There's a special formula that we can use to understand how many carbons and how many hydrogens that we have. The formula is, to find the number of hydrogens, we would have to do 2 times the number of carbons. Then we have to add that by 2. Here's an example. 
if we had 12 right here, if we have 5 carbons, how many hydrogens are there? Well, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 12 hydrogens. Let's do another example. So what happens if we have 9 carbons? To find the number of hydrogens, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20. 20 hydrogens. And that is how we find how many hydrogens are in an organic bond. And that is how we understand organic bonds. I hope this video has helped you understand organic bonds. Thank you for watching Cal Penalized Math Industry. Like and subscribe. Did you know organic bonds can be used to make combustion reactions? Yes, the ones that go kaboom.